Welcome back, legends. I hope you're all amazing. I've got another pedal on the bench from Lichtlam Audio in Germany, the Acer Hatter, which is a massive clean boost EQ pedal, up to 35 dB of gain available from the level control over here. There's also a cut control on here to tidy up your low end, and then a switchable four band EQ on here. This foot switch activates the boost and the overall pedal. This one will kick in the additional EQ. So as you can probably guess, this one is designed for crushing modern metal tones, but it's not just a derivative of a TC integrated preamp or Fortin grind or something like that. It's an original design from what I understand. So shout out to Daniel over at Licklam for sending this one out to me to demo. I'm very, very excited. Uh, so excited that I got my JP7 out at the moment in drop A. I'm running it into the Synergy Uberschall module, you know, keeping the theme there with that one into the Syn 5050, Fractal X load, and I've got my go-to Greenback IR on here. Let's just have a listen to the core tone, and I want you to hear the boost side of this. We'll start with just the boost and then the cut. So pedal off and then on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. So much gain on tap. Actually more gain than I would personally ever need. I can't believe I'm saying that there. The cut control is super powerful as well. You can hear on that low A, being able to get it really, really up above noon on this. I think the cut control goes all the way to like 1500 hertz or something like that. So it could probably double up as like a kind of lo-fi style effect, but for a low A or if you're tuning to, you know, drop G, drop F, something like that, that is an absolute godsend or a God Destroyer, because I think that's what this uh, pedal actually translates to. So you've got that. You've also got this four band EQ on here. So I'm gonna leave the kind of boost and the cut where they are. I'm gonna take a little bit of treble out to smooth things. I'll kind of boost the high mids in here. One thing I gotta say that I love about these mini pots is there's a little indent at halfway that you can feel, so you can actually get it back to the middle. Uh, a lot of other pedal manufacturers need to take note of that with their mini knobs. I'll also take a little bit of bass out in here. Uh, what do we got? Let's give it a big high mid boost in here. So uh, yeah, it's just taking that tone that I've got already, which is okay as a high gain tone and it's sending it into the stratosphere. So uh, we'll kick in the boost and the cut and then we'll kick in the EQ. <laughs>
love that I can start with the okayest distorted tone and go absolutely crazy with how I craft the pre-EQ in there. Let's hear my PRS SC245. I'll be on the Uber module and then I'm gonna switch over to the Synergy 2CP. This guitar is pretty dark, but it's only tuned to drop C. So I think I'm gonna probably bring the cut control back down a little bit, play around with the level just to compensate for the different pickups between this and the JP2C. And I really like that kind of EQ curve there, boosting the high mids, mids and treble, but backing off more bass. You can get so aggressive with it. And I love that feature on there. So uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Really, really nice with the lead channel of the 2CP there. It's kind of doing a similar thing to the way I would set up a boost in the input block of the Axe FX on the Mark series model. So I really, really like that. Uh, the real amp doesn't have like a built-in shred switch like something like the JP2C does. Having this in there kind of does that. One last example, I know this is sold as a metal boost, but we've got to hear some clean tones from the Synergy 2CP module with a Strat. I just want to have this give me a boost and then use the EQ. I'm just gonna give it like a little bit of high mid in there, roll off a little bit of treble and bass and see if it can kind of do a pseudo tube screamer thing without the clipping. So uh, let's hear it.
there's a big spectrum of sounds in there waiting to be explored with the clean stuff. So I like that on there as well. But I gotta say with the seven string in front of that Uber module, that one did the trick in a way that not many other pedals I have can do the trick. You know, I still like something like a Tube Screamer or an SD1 to kick a raging amp into hyper overdrive, but they don't do what this does. You don't have the kind of selectable high pass filter on there with the cut control. I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't know if it's just a kind of standard uh, high pass or there's some resonance going on in there, but it sounds and feels really, really good. And then the active EQ on there, just like the uh, Gehenna that I had a look at as well. I love that feature on there. These pedals, I think, deserve their reputation for really being kind of thoughtful, well-designed pedals that aren't just clones of stuff that's already out there. So big thumbs up to Daniel. Really, really lovely work. I will put a link to their website in the video description if you want to grab one of these or learn more about the rest of their products. Thanks so much for listening to the video. If you like what I'm doing, links to support me in the video description. And I hope you all have a great day. Get some filthy, greasy guitar tones today and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.